Hey everyone, what is going on? So I have another video for you today in the Open Ultra League using Ganito's Double Chomp team. I did watch his video. Shout out to an amazing YouTube content creator, Ganito. Um, yeah, no, as I said, I'm using his Double Chomp team. I know everyone's favorite team, right? Everyone loves Double Chomp. Uh, I know a lot of traders consider it toxic, but it can get some good wins. And I had back-to-back 4-1s. -back uh, with this team, so why not, right? Before we begin, I just want to let you know, if you could let me know in the comments down below how the audio sounds, I would really appreciate that. I'm using um, a noise filter, and it's supposed to clear out some of the background noise, but let me know how, how, how it sounds. I've, I've been using it for the past like few videos, uh, but let me know how, how it sounds and if it sounds okay or not. Uh, but either way, yeah, double charm. As I say, I could get some good wins. It's not my favorite team. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't love Double Charm. Um, it could be inconsistent, um, but, you know, depending on the meta, it could also, as I said, get you some good wins. Uh, and of course, the purpose of this team is to lure out the Steel type, the Poison type, whatever you happen to go up against. Um, did I mention that I had back to back four ones? I think I mentioned that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't doing too well in the single type cup. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try to get uh, content out, a different team. Um, and I decided to go in with Double Charm, and it did not disappoint. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, this game is almost over. Sand Slash, of course, you want to swamp it into the Alolan Sand Slash. But usually whenever you see Alolan Sand Slash in the U Ultra League, at least from my experience, usually it's in the lead. Let me know, it, you know if you have a different opinion. But for me, usually I see it in the lead, which is really good, obviously. You don't want uh, the Charm users on that Sand Slash, right? Not at all. Um, so I'm going to be able to get off another Hydro Cannon right now into the Alolan Sand Slash. Should be enough. Actually, no, never mind. It's not enough. But I can just Mud Shot down. And even if I couldn't, Sylveon at that point could farm down. Uh, good game. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. I have my Shadow Swamp and into Deoxys. So Deoxys is actually kind of tough because of how bulky it is. Uh, so what I did in this battle, just throw the Hydro Cannon. They know it's a Hydro Cannon. I don't anticipate the, the shield because they easily survive this. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hydro and then switch into my Lola Ninetales. Yes, it does have Rock Slide, uh, which is not ideal, I guess, for the Ninetales. I'm going to go ahead and shield, and there's the Rock Slide. Um, but that's fine. The Deoxys is staying in. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Weather Ball. This is still not going to be enough to KO. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it and I do pick up that shield very nice indeed My opponent is gonna go ahead and throw another rock slide. I do decide to shield this one I was thinking at this point I could probably trump down, but they actually do make it to another one That's how tanky Deoxys is, but it's still not gonna be enough to KO me now I do go down two shields, which is not great, but um, that's fine. In comes Obstagoon So when I saw the Obstagoon come in, I'm like they must be double weak to charm or fairy <laughs> they they have to be right and sure enough my opponent quits as soon as they see the second charm user so i don't know what it was maybe it was a scrafty but yeah looking good there let's go ahead and move into the next one okay going up against the dragonite so obviously not good but we do have two answers to it in the back now a lot of times uh it is dragonite and then a steel type in the back in this case it's not uh but i have seen like i've seen registeel in the back i've seen kabalian i've also seen Skunk Tank, as we see right now, or Drapion, uh, like a Poison type, right? So this Poison type will be able to farm me down, but I do a lot to it. Plus, I pick up a shield. So, because they didn't bring in, like, a Registeel, I know there's no Steel type in the back, unless if it's Kabali. Kabali could be in the back, but uh, generally speaking, it's usually a Jealous, and I've seen that team. I think Jason, uh, who is an amazing battler and content creator as well, he streams occasionally, um... He hit Legend uh, this season with Dragonite, Jealousy, and Skunk Tank, I believe. Um, and then there, there's the Jealousy. So basically, uh, Sylveon, the thing is, Sylveon doesn't have to worry uh, about the Dragonite. Because the Dragonite really is doing nothing. They actually attempted to catch. So now I can find down. Yeah, we're, we're double resisting the Dragon Breath damage. Double resisting Dragon Claw. They had to throw the superpower, which we single resist. Um, so uh, I just got a lot of energy there. And now I can go ahead and just throw it these attacks into this Jellicent. Um, I throw the side shot, pick up the shield. I'm gonna go, gonna go ahead and invest the shield here and I'm gonna be able to get off a Moon Blast uh, into this Jellicent and that should be a good game. And if it doesn't KO, one more Chum should knock out, but it does KO. Yeah, that's gonna be a good game. Uh, very well played to my opponent. Now, if they had a Steel type plus the Skunk tank, we would have lost because Steel and Poison uh, wouldn't have been able to beat that, okay. 
Tapu Fini in the lead. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to charge up for the Earthquake and throw the Hydro Cannon. Uh, because I was confident they were going to shield. Spoiler warning, my opponent does not shield. So the Earthquake would have been beautiful here. But you live, you learn. Um, I don't think it was a mistake to throw the Hydro. But um, yeah. Anyway, Skunk Tank comes in. So we do lure out the Poison type. There could still be a Steel type in the back. But I figure they would probably bring it in if there was over the Skunk Tank. Because we're doing neutral damage to the Skunk Tank, right? Whereas if it was a Steel type, we'd be doing... Uh, resisted damage, unless if it's Kabalian. Unless if it's Kabalian. So there's probably no Veggie Steel, no Galarian Stunfisk, um, Steelix. Actually, Steelix wouldn't be that bad for Charm users because he double resisted Dragon Tail. But you get it, you get it. Anyway, same same thought process. Just gonna go ahead and let that attack go. I want to save the shields for the Sylveon. Um, and in comes the Ostagoon. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Hydro Cannon and then switch out into my Sylveon. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I do pick up the shield there. Um, so, okay. So, Sylveon versus Obstagoon. Now, my opponent is charging up. I, I do let this go. Uh, and it's going to be an obstruct. I knew they didn't charge up enough energy. Uh, so, basically, what, what my opponent is doing is they're trying to debuff me so the water guns do more damage. Right? So, they're going to debuff me with obstruct. Which I get. Which makes sense. That's a good play. Because they want the water gun damage maybe to water gun me down. Uh, maybe, you know, a surf definitely be enough to KO, especially after this Night Slash. Still gonna let it go though. Um, and out comes the Feeny. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Psy Strike right now. Uh, Psy Shock. Psy, did I say Psy Strike? Psy Shock. I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, I have to shield this. I have no choice. But I do really want to reset my debuff, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. I cannot make it to a move, which I didn't think I would be able to. But I did want to reset the debuff. Uh, so the Water Guns are not doing as much damage uh, from those Obstructs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this, and I was like, if I can make it to a Moonblast, I wasn't confident I could make it, so I go ahead and go for the Psy Shock, but the Psy Shock is going to be enough to KO anyway. I wasn't sure that it would be. I wasn't sure that it would be, but it was. So I'm going to be able to take that game. Good game. Yeah, this team does really well as long as it's not two answers in the back to charm, right? Okay, Alolan Sandslash, you absolutely love to see it. So Feeny is coming in. So... Okay, my opponent is going to go ahead and throw the Surf. I am going to bait. I, I feel like, hmm. Yeah, I definitely make mistakes in this game. And you could still make mistakes even using a double charm tap tap team, as people like to call it, right? Um, so I bait there. I think I should have switched into the Ninetales ASAP. Because then I wouldn't have had to use the shield. Um, but that's okay. Um, I think I let this one go expecting... No, never mind. I shielded it. Okay, it's going to be a Moonblast. Um... And I'm going to farm up and throw this. I, I feel like they would have gotten to a surf if I didn't throw this weather ball. So I'm going to throw the weather ball just to KO. I know the sand slash is coming in. It, it's just the reason I should have switched out right away is because I knew they had a sand slash, uh, of course. And they're going to be able to get so much energy farming me down, which is not good at all because that will threaten the swamp. And of course, the Sylveon is not going to do well. I don't actually get that off too, which is really bad. I could have thrown the weather ball, but I was trying to get off uh, the side shock. Uh, so ice punch, not good. I'm gonna be able to get off this attack, which is good, but they can go ahead and shield, and unfortunately they do shield. Um, I do catch the ice punch, but it's really not gonna do much for me because my charms are really not doing anything. Uh, and plus they bring in Jellison and at this point the Jellison's gonna be able to beat me So I am gonna lose this game if I switched out right away against the Feeny, Maybe I would have been able to win this one not really sure um, But either way really well played to my opponent um, They actually get off an attack before I can get off the Moonblast uh, So good game good game that is gonna KO and of course I have the Swamp it uh, an Earthquake will KO, and I do make it to the Earthquake, but I have to throw the Earthquake because they just got to the move, so I do have to throw this. Um, and that will KO, but the Sand Slash, of course, is going to be able to beat me, even if they didn't have an attack, because it, they would have been close, but I knew they had an attack anyway. So that is going to be enough to KO, and that is going to be a great game, very well played to my opponent. I had the lead, but my opponent was still able to win that one. Good game. Okay, picking up a really positive lead in the next one. My opponent switches out into Haxorus. He absolutely love to see it. Now, I know this thing has Earthquake thanks to Yonkis' Yankus, video uh, where he, he used uh, a Haxorus with Earthquake, but I knew I lived it, so there was really no reason to, to even worry about that Earthquake. I did do a lot, which, which is actually good because now the Muck won't get as much farm, so it's actually good for me. 
uh, that they did have Earthquake. Um, and my opponent will be able to farm me down, but that's totally fine. Uh, now it's certainly in Hydro Cannon range. We, I, I mean, even for full health, after the Mud Shots, it probably would have been anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this just to get rid of it or pick up a shield. And my opponent is gonna go ahead and shield that one up. Um, I think I actually... Oh no, I, I do shield it, okay. Um, and it is Dark Pulse. Yeah, it is Dark Pulse. So that's a good shield by me. Um, and out comes Feeny. So now I'm gonna switch out immediately into my Sylveon. Um, this is totally fine. My opponent is gonna go ahead and throw an attack. I'm gonna let it go, calling the Surf. It's not the Surf, it's the Moon Blast. I was certain they were gonna go for the Surf, but they do not. They go straight for the Moon Blast. So I will be able to get off my Psy Shock right now. Uh, and I'll take that damage for sure. My opponent will farm down. And I go for the Hydro Cannon. I just want to get rid of this thing. Um, and if my opponent shields, I could shield and farm down. I think. Or actually, do I let it go? I think I do shield. Yeah, I do shield. Just because if, if it's a Surf, I could take it. But if it's a Moon Blast. Yeah, I, I, I shield. I mean, it makes more sense to shield. Because I could just farm down and get off a Hydro Cannon. Uh, I actually go for the Earthquake. I was actually going to go for the Earthquake. Um, I, I didn't need the Earthquake, but... Uh, either way, good game. Well played to my opponent. Let's go ahead and move the, to the next one. Okay, another Dragonite lead. Got a lot of possible Steel type, which I assume is going to be in the back. But no, a Jellicent comes in. So they're not bringing in uh, one of their Poison Dog types like Skunk Tank, should they have it. Um, which actually kind of surprised me. So I'm really not sure what could be in the back. Uh, if they brought in Jellicent, um, I put it actually shielding that. I do need to win Switch. I think I call the Surf here and it is a Shadow Ball. Yeah, it is a Shadow Ball. So really unfortunate for me. I'm still going to be able to win Switch, but now I have to shield up Surfs. I would have preferred to shield up the Shadow Balls, but that's fine. I'm still going to be able to take Switch here anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the Weather Ball. See if my opponent wants to shield. I do expect them to shield because they do really want to win Switch and they do shield that. Uh, so now I can safely shield and charm down. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be able to charm down. You'll love to see it. So I guess we'll see what's coming in. There's no way the Dragonite's coming in. Um, but Sylveon... Oh, it's a Swampert. Okay. It's actually a Swampert. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. So um, this is totally fine because of... Look how low I'm getting it. Um, totally, totally fine because I could honestly charm down at this point. I, of course, I need, I need to soak the energy with Swampert. So if they throw two Hydros, that's fine. If they throw Earthquake... That's fine. It's not going to KO. I switch out immediately because I anticipate them to switch out immediately. And that's what happens. Even if they didn't switch out immediately, I could have charmed down the Swamp. So yeah, I'm going to be able to take that one. So it was Dragonite, double water. Good game to my opponent. Swamp it into Nido Queen. Okay, so I do win this game, but I also make some mistakes. That's a great lead for me. Obstagoon coming in. I do bring in my Alola Ninetales. Now, my opponent is charging up. Um, I didn't count enough for a gunk shot. But I was concerned that I miscounted or maybe I missed one when they came in. So I shielded that. I didn't need to shield that. Obviously, they don't have Gunk Shot. But I was concerned. Um, even though I didn't count up to the Gunk Shot. Whether or not they charged up for it. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Um, but either way, I, I was just concerned. And I, I and I figured, okay, I could shield this and still threaten this Nido Queen, right? Because I'll be able to get off two Weather Balls, probably forcing a shield anyway. So I'll be able to get the shield back. Um, and I do get off this weather ball, which should get the shield back. If it doesn't, it's going to be enough to KO. Uh, and they do, in fact, shield it. So I, that was fine. That was fine, right? Although they do get a lot of energy, which is not ideal. And now out comes Rosian. And, okay, I also make a mistake here. Now, this is a good This is good for me, of course. I could go ahead and take these Leaf Blades all day long. Uh, or Stone Edge, whatever attack they have. And it's Leaf Blade. Um, so... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. See, see, I, I, I made a mistake here. I throw my attack. I throw my, I click on my attack. I thought I got a charm through and I thought it KO'd them, but it didn't. I, I did not get a charm through. I thought I got a, yeah, again, I thought I got a charm through and I thought it KO'd. So a mistake on my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my swamp right now. And I'm like, okay, I gotta call the poison thing. And it is in fact a poison thing. 
So uh, that is good for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and shield this. I do expect another Poison Fang, but I knew even if it's Poison Fang, which it is, they're not going to be able to get to an Earth Pound before I mud shot them down. And I still take that game. So again, uh, I did have back-to-back -back for once. Some of the games are missing just because I wasn't recording all of them. Uh, but either way, there's one of the four ones. I'm uh, going to be able to pick up a Gligar as well. And I will get back into the 2500s. It's like I do well whenever I play Ultra League. But whenever I go into single type cup, I always just end up dropping. <laughs> um, but either way, I do got to get used to it. I think I mentioned it in a previous video. Because we do have Go Battle Day or Go Battle Weekend coming up. And I do want to get familiar with the single type cup. But regardless, that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.